there and what we have here is another inbox review from Genesis Models. What we have is the FA18F Super Hornet two seater by Revell one in 40 8 scale and looking at the box art I mean we've got a nice looking quite colourful uh, Super Hornet going on here. So just to open up the box just to get us started and let's have a look what's actually in here. Okay, um, one of Ravel's typical boxes where you can't actually, you know, have them in a nice little box where you can put them in. You know, it opens from the side. A bit annoying, but there you go. So, um, usual bit of rubbish there that Ravel puts in there. Right. Let's have a look at what we've got here with instructions and whatnot. Um, you know, I've built this kit twice before, so um, you know I know a bit about it. Nice bit of description, as Ravel usually does. We've got a nice big decal sheet there, but we'll come back to that in a sec. And let's move along. Right, usual um, Ravel kind of colours. Okay, using only their colours and also coming along and saying mix this with this and this and this okay um, I don't really take much notice of that going through the actual instructions I mean they look fairly simple shall we say um, not too complicated and um, from when I've built it in the past twice I haven't really had any major problems trying to work out how it all goes together it is just you know pretty simple bog standard um, sort of a build really um, you're You've got only a few weapons as well, and fuel tanks, which is very annoying, but we'll talk about that in a sec. Um, a few options, okay, we've got like um, a ladder here, which is kind of cool, but we don't really have any options with like flaps down and all that kind of stuff. Um, but coming to the markings now, um, what you get is the really nice um, um, FA18 FA Super Hornet, the Diamondbacks uh, VFA102. Uh, uh, this is like a 50th anniversary scheme um, that's in Japan, and it really does look the bee's knees. A nice kind of red going on there, and it, it does it makes it look very very colourful and very eye candy. Um, but you do, if you don't want to do um, some nice eye candy, you can do the Black Knights, which, which looks more like a more frontline sort of aircraft, um, if you want to go for that kind of style aircraft. And uh, I think there's another one here. Yeah. Is that right? No. Just checking. Right, yeah. Just two options there. You've got like a frontline and you've got like a nice bit of eye candy. Um, one. I just need somewhere to put this one. So. Right, so moving along with the decals, okay, um, yeah, as you can see, we've got all this really nice eye candy decal going on to make a really nice, colourful um, F-18. Um, you know, you've got our little snake decals here, which I do think looks really, really, really nice. Um, as I say, very colourful. The decals, I mean, they feel really nice. I have used them before. They say it's printed in Italy, um, which could mean it's cartographer but it says it's designed by Deco products right um, although I must admit I have used these before and they do feel a bit like um, your cartographer decals really nice easy decals that conform nicely to micro and set but it doesn't actually say on here that it is printed by cartographer um, so although it doesn't say it they are pretty good um, but that's the decals and you shouldn't really have any problem with them. Very nice, colourful, nicely in registry and all that. And then we've got this big bag of decal, um, sorry, these big bag of sprues. One big bag that everything goes into. And then nicely, actually, um, you've got a, a load of other sprues all nicely separately uh, bagged up. So that's actually quite nice on the packaging side of things. So let's have a start with our... Um, Canopy, right. Let's see how good or how bad this is. Okay. Um, so what we've got, we've got one big canopy section here. It has got a seam line running down the middle, <coughs> um, but you know, 
that's what you've got to do. You've got to get rid of these seam lines, you know. Um, and that's no, not really a big problem really. It's a nice bit of sanding out, smooth it down, you know, polish it in, um, and you should be in no problems there. But <clears throat> the canopy is looking quite nice, shiny, um, not seeing any cracks, not seeing any kind of blemishes or anything like that. No, and yeah, it all looks pretty damn good actually. So um, nice canopy there, looks pretty solid as well. Um, first bag, rice, okay. This is probably the main bag section, okay, because this is where we've got all our fuselage and all our wing section. Alright, so starting with the top, um, looks quite big. Um, the plastic does feel nice and smooth, it's not rough, um, does seem quite strong. Um, and the detail on this is pretty minted, okay? It is pretty damn good. Um, if we bring you right in, you can probably see that actually, you know what? You have got heap loads of rivet detail, heap loads of um, recessed panel line detail going on with this kit, right? Very, very good. Now, the thing is, the only thing that I found with this kit is that the recessed panel line detail is a little bit on the thin side, okay? Um, so, the problems we have is one, actually, you know, the recessed panel lines do look actually in scale, right? You know, they're nice and quite thin, crisp, uh, nicely tiny little uh, recessed panel lines looking nicely in scale, but if you want to get um, stuff like washes into your recessed panel lines, okay, to add that level of weathering, which is what we want to do, um, they are a bit on the thin side, okay? So when you come to say, if you use say a sludge wash um, and you wipe away um, the wash that's on top of the surface and you're hoping that the um, sludge wash is going to stay in the recessed panel lines uh, you're probably going to end up wiping away what's in the panel lines as well because they are quite thin. Uh, a pin wash um, might actually work with this um, but what I've done in the past is I've basically come along and just given the whole thing a light little rescribe. We're not talking a full on rescribe, okay, where you just totally not to rescribe it. I was, I'm talking like you've already got like your recessed panel lines here, right, you've already got that guide and you just lightly with your pea cutter giving it a little bit of a scribing, okay, we're just making it a little bit deeper to make it easy for our washers to get in there so that is a note about this kit uh, if you want to do it is the recesses are a little bit on the thin side which can cause problems the next thing as well is our air intake side of this kit right um, is a bit of a problem where these two pieces come together okay right here you've got all your kind of air intake section that goes on here and the whole thing really is a, a bit of a problem, right? I mean, to get like, I think there's this little line here where um, this, which piece is it? You've got this piece here, right, which is part of the air intake, fits onto here and, you know, getting that all nice and seamless is a pain. You know, you can have problem fits up here where the intake, air intake is. You know, there is a heap load of kind of fit issues with this that are a bit nasty it's just it basically it's the air intake and then it's like the sides of the wings and everything that go on here bits of fit issues going on um, so you want to kind of try and get your techniques of kind of filling sanding scribing sort of going with this kit okay um, which you know I wouldn't knock the kit too much because I mean it is quite cheap at the same time and same with uh, where am I putting this uh, <clears throat> same with this section you know same as on top you know the 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 panel line detail is really good just a bit on the thin side but we're not seeing any nasty ejector pin marks we're not seeing uh, 
you know any kind of sink marks or anything like that going on really nasty with this kit um, the exhaust you know there could be a bit more to be desired um, but moving along we have got some more parts here um, we'll start off with this little section here I mean so far I mean the kit is looking really nicely detailed and looking like there's a nice bit of potential going on the nose section again you know the detail <coughs> excuse me is really good um, if you look if you can just get it in the light you know there is a lot of nice detail going on with this and with that little bit of a touch up um, with the rescribing you know so that you can get your washers in there it really is a nice kit um, and all your, your, your tail planes elevators and all that kind of stuff you know really really nice detail going on really nice crisp detail you know which is going to look really really nice just as I say you know when the wash comes in there it's going to be a bit tricky um, We've got our air intakes here, you know, two piece air intakes. Um, you know, you can, um, I think, yeah, we've got some actual, yeah, we have. We've got some um, ejector pin marks inside the actual air intakes, you know, so you might want to be sanding them out so that you can uh, have your air intakes looking nice and smooth. Um, but that's that piece. I mean, this is looking like your typical Revell, you know. I think Ravel gives you good value for money, um, but typically it doesn't quite fit as good as you want it to fit, um, but you can't really complain at the price that they're asking for. Um, now we've got our kind of like our um, cockpit bits and whatnot going on here. Now we want to bring you in. Right, we've got a bit of flash going on. Um, we've got our instrument display panel here, which um, I do think looks actually quite good for out of the box. Our ejector seats, I mean, these look good as well, to be totally honest. I mean, there's a bit of detail going on there. We've got some seat belts going on. Um, moving along, we have got some um, more detail going on here with our ejector seat. Um, and if we have a little look at our front landing gear part you know we've got a nice bit of detail going on here i mean yes i am seeing a bit of nasty flash so we need to kind of trim that up and sand that out but that is looking like a nice bit of detailed um landing gear same with the um the two back back ones i mean it does look like some nice landing gear detail going on uh, inside our wheel wells here I mean we've got some detail going on here that looks um, not too bad but we're not seeing any nasty ejector pin marks that you can get in these wheel well doors and stuff um, so apart from that that does look quite like a nice bit of detail uh, moving along we have another bag here which this is containing our cockpit All right so you want to have a look at this okay bring you in again right in here we've got our tub the detail is looking um looks nice i mean as i say for an out of the box cockpit i mean it is going to build up to be you know a nice kind of detail cockpit going on um, instrument display panel for the rear seat you know all looks nice you know it is just a really nice detailed um you know set of cockpits and seats and everything for what is an out of the box so i don't think actually you can moan too much you know about cockpit detail and stuff with this actual kit it is actually really really decent um, moving along um we've got i won't bother getting these out because this is like all our weapons and um pylons and stuff now this is where with this kit um, I got quite annoyed with it um, okay because uh, what have we got I mean weapons wise um, I mean we do have some weapons going on on in here I mean we've got some uh, side winders uh, basically we've got about four air to air missiles going on um, and then I think we've got some hot two harm missiles followed by uh, two free fall bombs which 
Oh, and the one big annoying thing is you only get one fuel tank, okay? This is where I kind of got a little annoyed with this kit, right? Because um, plain and simply, we've got quite a few pylons uh, and we've only got enough weapons to just fill them, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think it was like you got six pylons, three on each wing, and we've got... Now there's four pylons because you've got the outer wing, uh, outer ones as well. So you've got eight weapons, and we've got uh, four, six, eight. Yeah, we've got enough weapons, just about enough weapons to fill all your pylons. But you haven't got the two fuel tanks that go um, on. I think it's the inside um, pylon um, wing. You haven't got them, and I do like to have those nice big fuel tanks on my aircraft because I think it makes them look a bit beefy. Um, and you do get, and really, I mean, you look at FA18s. I mean, you do see them quite frequently with these two um, fuel tanks on the side. So I do like to put them on, but you don't get them with this kit. You only get one fuel tank to go in the centre, which I found really, really annoying with this kit. Um, so that was a bit of a shame so um, kind of to summarize this kit right um, I think it's around about the 20 22 pound mark so um, not exactly an expensive kit but to sum it up it's Ravel you know you've got some great detail going on there with the recess panel lines the riveting great detail you've got a pretty big kit that is gonna you know go together um, shall we say okay you know it's not going to slot together like a has a go here, but you're not paying 50 quid well then again i mean an fa18 from um has a go it can be like 70 quid actually if you look at hanans um so yeah i mean for 20 some odd pounds you know you can't grumble at a few fit issues okay you, you, you're paying a lot less um, then as I say the has a goey, but um, you're doing a bit of a fit issue going on there uh, Which I don't think that's that bad for the price We could do with some more weapons, but I mean you get some nice decals with this kit, you know um, So I'm gonna have to say this is definitely recommended because you can't really grumble at the price For the amount of plastic you get decent decals and it is a kit that has the potential to be a really nice professional um, built model with that effort put into the fit issues and maybe doing a little bit of rescribing. Um, so apart from that, I mean, I hope you know you've enjoyed this inbox review of the FA18. I will be doing a final conclusion video so you can see it all built up in its built state. So um, you know you might want to get over to genesismodels.co.uk um, to actually see the um, final conclusion video so um, until the next time my name's Bobby Waldron this is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed